Good morning, folks. There are morning news days one remembers more than others. The big solar flares, the articles that changed how we think about the world, the announcements like Neptune and Pluto's atmospheric collapse or Mars seismic upheaval. Today, we'll see another one, which is good because if all we had to look at was the sun, it would be super boring right now. No considerable flares, certainly no Earth-directed eruptions. Solar wind is calming back down from that coronal hole stream over the weekend, and it's the thin, dark, snake-like plasma filaments that take the main watch right now. Some look ready to erupt at the slightest instigation. The Earth-facing heliographic longitudes have very few sunspots, however, which is why solar flaring has descended into B-class ranges of this morning. The next real chance for that to change would be if some of these bright areas incoming denote developing active regions we'll be seeing this week turn in to face our planet. For now, all is calm. Up first in today's articles, we have an excellent advance in a topic observers know well. Of the more than 100 studies showing solar and geomagnetic influence over negative cardiac events, none have yet shown how heart rate variability effects can directly trigger negative outcomes. It's often about blood pressure, arrhythmia, stroke, and while it had been noticed that the variability of the heart rate was affected, we now see the timeline and effects from solar storm to heart failure a chest-thumping confirmation, if you will, of the human health effects in Chapter 6 of our textbook and in Part 3 of the new supplement. Folks, there are papers I'll never forget, like when the solar superflare cycle timeline was confirmed, and confirmed to match the dansgaard oschger Bond events, and Heinrich event cycle, not to mention the geomagnetic excursion cycles of Earth. Another was after Berkeley finally said what so many had been thinking, and then, it was followed up by a confirmation study by the USGS, and then in 2020, it was confirmed again that after the next major field loss acceleration, we'll be collapsing 100 times faster than we are now, leaving us about a year or two from the end when that acceleration eventually occurs. And so we come to this morning and we find another one, an actually not-so-new theory of Earth's crust displacement. Where the paper goes wrong is their respect for Charles Hapgood's timeline and pole shift numbers, which are psychotically wrong, and we fully debunk Hapgood's version in the next end of the world. Both there and in the new supplement, we drive home a key point with key words. The geomagnetic excursion and solar micronova will unlock the crust mantle boundary and allow the world to tilt 90 degrees. Sway like a drunkard, as part of the sky you're used to seeing disappears and the stars with it tossed from your view, releasing the waters below and recreating the face of the earth. Here, they are specifically discussing the geomagnetic excursion and how it can unlock the crust. Again, it's hap good science, but to see those words, unlock the crust, alongside the geomagnetic changes, it's just not something any of us see very often. It's very close to correct, as close as I've seen a paper in some time, even if the details are misinformed by a CIA insider shill factory of a disinformation agent creating a controlled opposition. There's a lot of observer terms I just dropped there. But we greatly appreciate your support and folks, as we've previously mentioned, Cells got bought by Amazon and is shutting their business. We do not have a good alternative at this time, are not asking for your suggestions as we've looked into everything, but our books, hats, shirts, and the PDF versions, the children's books, you have 15 days and we do not have any sort of timeline for when they'll return somewhere else. As I also remind website members about their podcasts and deeper look episodes, I will mention here as I've mentioned there, the website and the app will be casualties of 2022. Both need to shut down as we focus on the core and our family. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.